In this morning's Health Watch, surviving a stroke. Every 40 seconds in the U.S. someone has a stroke. It's the leading cause of long-term disability in this country. Now, a clot-busting drug can help, but not enough patients receive it. This one stroke survivor swears by it. March 22nd started out like any other normal day for me. Prior to that day, I thought my health was fine. I was a little bit overweight, I thought for myself, you know, but who isn't, you know? Uh, but I didn't have any idea whatsoever that I would be at risk for a stroke. I went to work. After lunch, I started to have a headache. It was excruciating. I couldn't even speak. My coworkers actually saw me in pain. Uh, then one yelled to me and said, Ray, can you, can you hear me? And when I tried to respond to her, my words came out slurred. And uh, she says, I think he's having a stroke. When I got to Southside, they uncovered two uh, blood clots. They told me that they were going to administer a drug or treatment called TPA to break up the clots that were in my brain. That, that really hit me hard. You know, your wife is saying to you, asking you, are you okay? And you're like, I don't know. And you know, that's, that's kind of bewildering. You know, you want to be able to answer the loved ones, but you can't. Had I not received the TPA, my speech probably would have been impaired still. My range of motion would have been very slow, very poor. It saved my life. And medical correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton is back with more on treating strokes. Dr. good to see you again. You too, uh, we're hearing about this drug TPA here. Right. And, and with this new study, this new research about it, how often it's used, is it not used often enough in patients? It, it is really that isn't. Problems That's here? absolutely correct, Chris. And about only 3 to 5% of stroke patients who get to a hospital in time to get this drug because there is a critical window of opportunity time-wise uh, as soon as possible. But within one to four and a half hours is really the window of opportunity for this drug to work. And we have to mention here, there are a lot of different types of strokes. This particular drug, TPA, works to bust up a clot in a certain type of stroke known as an ischemic stroke, where a blood clot actually blocks off a blood vessel and deprives that part of the brain of its much needed blood flow. As far as from an effective standpoint, I mean, we're hearing it obviously is very effective in this case, but overall? makes the difference between having a long-term disability, in this case, someone who might not be able to speak or move well, and not, and getting a full recovery. We always say in neurology, time lost is brain lost. So the faster you get this drug, the better your long-term prognosis will right. be. You mentioned timing then. What are the warning signs and obviously being able to, to discover them quickly. And you know something, Chris, most people are familiar with the warning signs of a heart attack, yeah. less familiar with those of a stroke. We all need to know about this because as the gentleman in this case showed us, his coworkers actually helped save his life. You can have anything from a severe headache that's unexplained to sudden numbness on the side of your face or a side of your body, trouble speaking, or in understanding other people's speech, blurry vision or a change in, in your vision, mm -hmm. and a loss of balance. These people can even look drunk in some cases. So again, you need to know what they are for yourself, but you need also to recognize them in those around you. Only 39 years old, that seems remarkably young. Yep, and we're seeing more and more strokes in younger and younger people. It's not just the elderly. So again, Prevention is key. You want to reduce the risk factors that we know are associated with stroke. Obesity, smoking, if you stop, quit immediately. Controlling diabetes and high blood pressure. But there are also other medical conditions that really stack the deck against you and increase your risk of stroke. Sickle cell disease, certain types of heart disease or vascular disease, if you have one of those risk factors or a history of a clotting disorder, Talk yeah. to your doctor about lowering that risk. It's also remarkable to see the recovery that he's made, which is it's nice. A good story. All right, Dr. Ashton, good to see you, you once bet. again.